Hey guys, Sicklemania back again uh, for another update. Uh, last video I was talking about that I was going to be going over to the, the valley, uh, basically Beaverton area, and that I was going to leave my tank unattended for two days. Uh, I had a buddy come over here and just keep an eye on it, uh, feeding my fish and stuff, but uh, look how clean it turned out. Uh, there's not any algae anywhere now, so that's all gone, just a... Just a couple places right there, but uh, corals are real healthy. Indian trees almost attached to there, um, and uh, the fox face is swimming around now. But uh, the thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is I was going to be shooting videos of West Side Aquariums and some other aquarium shops. Well, when I got down there, West Side. Uh, aquariums uh, was pretty much already out of business. The guy never showed up on uh, Saturday when he said he would or Sunday. So um, I wasn't able to uh, get a video of that place or buy anything from them, unfortunately. So uh, I went to one place, World of Wet Pets. Uh, they didn't really have a selection of uh, saltwater coral, in my opinion. It was just a few soft corals, and that was it. Um, so... I chose to not make a video there either. So, what I did was I got on Craigslist and uh, there were so many postings I couldn't even keep up with them all. But uh, I found five on the way home, emailed them all, and one person called me back. And uh, I ended up getting a rose bulb anemone and a green bulb anemone. Um, I got a really good deal on these. Um, I know they, the rose bulb and enemies sell for around 120 bucks. Probably anything around two to five inches is what they're charging online. And uh, ours is probably about three inches wide. And uh, we got them for 20 bucks. And uh, I paid 20 bucks for the bulb and enemy too, unfortunately. But uh, not a good, not a, that bad of a deal. But uh, let's see. He's right there in the center. But, uh, you can see him right there. He's closed up right now. But what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, uh, set him on here. And, unfortunately, uh, and here's the other guy. Not bad. Unfortunately, these guys need some pretty intense light. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them here for now. I really, really, really want them in my 55 right now so I don't freak out with them uh, going on a killing spree. But uh, I think they're okay for now. Um, but uh, yeah, so I just wanted to uh, basically get these on a video today. I plan on putting... Uh, one of them in here at least once I get adequate lighting over here maybe it's two two fifties and some T5s not sure but uh, I'm hoping they behave themselves in here I'm just gonna keep a close eye on them and uh, they, they say that they're reef compatible but uh, they are semi aggressive so we'll see how that goes still waiting on the balls like I said it's still this weekend hopefully we can get those ordered or not ordered but hopefully I can pick them up uh, this week, which uh, I don't see why not. I just wish I already had them. But uh, yeah, that's all I got to shoot on this video. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted on uh, any of my other uh, things that I add to the system. Alright, see you guys.